me call the loudest in the NFL. We are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And we are underway from Kansas City. Fair catch called for and taken back near the goal line. So that'll come out to the 25. Mahomes not wasting time. He'll throw. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught for the touchdown. Kansas City. Marquez Valdez-Scantling. 45 yards. And the Chiefs need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. And they're going to get two more. He's got it. So that didn't take long. Quickly, 8-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. now to throw and incomplete on the deep ball I don't see Marvin trying to get him the football over the backfield they love what he can do in open space and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit back to the air fields on second down Incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Again, his fields. And firing a deep ball for Komet. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. And Audible here to get a new look. Here we go on fourth down, Fields. That is caught. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. First down, 
Now Fields going to move him around. They'll run. This is Khalil Herbert. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Well, Jerry is Sneed up to make the play defensively. St. Brown motioning left. On second down, here's Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. It was a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On first down, Fields. He rifles complete, caught by Moore. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. On the option right is Fields. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields keeping it himself from seven yards out. And the Bears have cut the lead back Cairo down to two. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. He's got it, so they take just the one here, and that makes it an 8-7 game in the first. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play that gets them back up to that level. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's caught inside the 25. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Mahomes now on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. A tight one. 8-7 our score after one on EA Sports. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 28 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. They'll look to throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. 
also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Now a first down throw, Fields. And throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder by guys, and that time there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. In motion goes the tight end. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Fields changing the play. St. Brown motioning left. Fields on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And they'll set up shot right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, it looks like they'll move things around here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. On first down, it's Fields. That is caught by Herbert. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll run here with Herbert. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Herbert going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Fields on third and goal. They'll roll him out right. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bears have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Santos with the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. In a tie game. I don't think anybody in this building, including you or I, was expecting that. <laughs> no, I would agree with that totally. I didn't expect to see it at all, but I kind of like where they were going with this. You know, as you said, tie game, trying to steal a possession, steal an advantage, and you told your defense at the half you were going to do it which also told them that you had confidence in them in case it failed, as that one just did. And now you've given good field position here to start the third quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety bow. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Field's going to change things up here. Herbert powering up the middle. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, 41 yards. 
And the Bears have taken the lead. Now the point after try for Santos. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay to say. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the side of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Involved goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunk. He's got a man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And give him a gain of 37. I don't care what level of football you played. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone would come free. <laughs> On first down, Mahomes. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. They've moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. Little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mahomes to throw once more. This is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Did he get the feet down? Yeah. Touchdown, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. Andy Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. It's complete, and he will not get there as the try for two is unsuccessful. And they will remain down by a point. Still just a two-score game in the third quarter, but they're going to go onside kick here anyway. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what would you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel but they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. That's George Karloftis greeting him behind the line with a big stop. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Yep. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Third down and one. Now Fields going to move him around. Taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Hey, 
On first and ten, here's Fields. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. From the gun, here's Fields. Rolling to his right. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bears will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mahomes going to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. Yellow. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. A throw there, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line, unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now it's Mahomes again. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Fields changing the play. Hey, 
They'll come out throwing here on first down. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held him to an okay game. Touchdown, Chicago! Khalil Herbert. Second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And they will be backed up deep. Trouble here as they're going to start this drive at the six. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try to put points on the board. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, Charles, you remember their last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it, but you understand why they did in this close game late. Now, though, the road back is even tougher. Yeah, no doubt about it. And it was fair to look back and say the fourth down was the moment where this one was decided. But as you mentioned, understandable about why they went for it. But hey, a lot of credit to the guys on the defensive side of the ball. They knew they'd have to defend in that situation, and they got it done. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Mahomes to throw on second down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Seven yards there and a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20.
Mahomes will try again on second down. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. On second down, here's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. 